Here comes the nasty girl. Welcome back to the Nasty Graham RPG podcast. This is the Boston Masquerade, Chapter 11, Little Pig. Hey, this is Jake, and I'll be your storyteller. And I'm Matt, playing Javi Morales, the Ventru Cleaner. Hey, everyone, this is Dan, playing Quintus Lazar, Dr. Tremere. Hey, guys, it's John. I'm playing Z, the Bruja Hacker. Hi, this is Ryan. I'm playing Ethan Crane, the Trust Fund Ventru. And this is Josh. I'm playing Larry Murphy, the lovable Nothratu Creep. And the safest seat in the house, the Snack Shack. Hey, this is Devin coming at you safe and sound from the Snack Shack today. I have a whole bag of high chew. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. <laughs> whole bag. I think we owe Dan a willpower point for getting the intro right for a strike. I know, right? <laughs> just <laughs> the point off the rip. <laughs> it, it's, just, it's become instinct, right? Yeah, I, yeah. I don't even... And playing <laughs> Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> Devin, put on that intro whenever you're ready. Drop that funky pin. <laughs> Blood to blood, heed the call. Blood to blood, heed the call. Beatrix, events are moving fast. And I am sick. The disease that sent Sergei to madness and torpor is also in my blood. And as of now, I have no cure. I remain hungry. Alexander, the gangrel of Boston, is again working in concert with us as matters unfold. He has gone hunting for Sydney, patient zero, while we went looking for answers surrounding her arrival in Boston and the details of First Light's biological weapon. A known individual affiliated with First Light was revealed to us by Lydia Marlowe and her progeny, Kingsley Burke. We traveled to Etna, Maine to find him. I know little of this organization, First Light, but it would seem they are well prepared to bring us to our final death. The fight was difficult and desperate, but the Coterie survived and we found answers that led to more questions. The kindred that set Sydney free was the one called Mr. Boyle. The secrets of the city run deep. I hope my reports provide you the information you need. I cannot promise I will survive over the coming days or weeks as this disease eats away at me. But I will say my short time as a kindred has been a marvel to experience. As a man of science, this realm of wonder seemed impossible. I am thankful for our deal, even if my immortality is short-lived. Au revoir. April 3rd, 2022. First light black sight. We see two soldiers taking cover in a doorway, their submachine guns pointed towards the end of a well-lit hallway. Around the corner, at the end of the hall, we hear automatic fire and screaming. Hostile in the north corridor, heading towards your location now. The two soldiers are completely motionless, weapons trained at the end of the hall. Negative overwatch, we have no movement. Please confirm hostile's last location. In a security room, we see a soldier watching a wall of screens. On one screen, we see the two soldiers. Walking towards them is Mr. Boyle with a long, heavy sword resting across one shoulder. He's right in front of you. Open fire. He's invisible. The words are drowned out as automatic gunfire rings out, but the soldiers are too late. On the 30 frame per second video, we see movement so quick that it looks like a flip book. He brings the sword up, down, up. He suddenly passes them, and the two men are on the ground. He does not stop to check his work as he continues down the hall. Z, you pause the video. Fuck. You look- is that who I think it is? I, yeah, that's um, that's Mister Boyle. My Quintus's eyes, kind of, he's standing behind Z at the computer, kind of dart over to Larry in the room. Larry is standing, like slack jawed and stunned, 
kind of towards the back of the room watching it. it it's paused like on a still yeah. frame. Larry slowly walks towards the screen. Quinn just kind of backs away from the computer to give him room to look at it. He like bends down looking at it. You see his, his hand reach out. The computer kind of like blurs and distorts for a second as he reaches towards it. And he pulls his hand back. I mean, maybe maybe he's not working alone. Uh, Z continues the the video to see like maybe uh, maybe Fiona's there or somebody else. You start looking through folders full of files, each one a different camera in this building, different angles, but not or- organized in a way that's easy to navigate. Um, different timestamps. It's 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 hard to to look through. Yeah, and <clears throat> you all feel that familiar feeling. Your your body's starting to sort of stiffen, like rigor mortis setting in. Your blood feeling thick, and you know that you're only moments away from sunrise. Maybe <sighs> maybe twenty minutes, a little bit longer for Z. He tends to stay up late. I can. Uh... I, I can keep looking, but fuck, it's a Mr. W- w- why? Quintus kind of sits down heavily <clears throat> by Z's side and looks up at Larry, trying to read him. How's how's Larry feeling right now? He is deeply, uh, internally confused and conflicted. Um, his mind is kind of just stuck processing this. And I think he's sort of just goes over to uh, a corner of the room and um, lies down and pulls like a, a tarp over him, like in the corner, like under, under a bed. He just crawls under a bed and like pulls a tarp over the side. As as he's doing that, Quintus stands and <clears throat> says, well, we have much to discuss in the morning. Yeah, and... Uh, evening. Evening. <laughs> yeah. Keep going. <laughs> it's, a, it's a quirky mortal habit. <laughs> you see Johnny scamper under that bed. Yeah. And I mean, curl up behind Larry. Javi's, I mean, Javi's going to have to get some food tonight. Uh, Javi, how are you yeah. doing? <clears throat> Javi is sitting in the your face. side of the room <laughs> <laughs> with <laughs> looking through one good eye, and the other side of his face is just sort of like a charred cinder. Look like fucking Harvey. Uh, what's his name? Harvey Dent. Yeah. Harvey Dent. Yeah, yeah. 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 worse. Yeah. <laughs> <I'm>, <laughs> what's the line um, in Deadpool? It looks like a avocado fucking <laughs> uglier. <laughs> so you have you, you have two wounds. It's that the the most obvious and gruesome is the burn on your face from that flare. But then where he stabbed you in the chest with that knife, um, you've probably been stabbed before, being a hundred year old vampire. And this hurts so much more. Um, like I said, there's something about that knife that is um, that is supernatural. Uh, it, it didn't do aggravated damage, but it wasn't halved. Um, so you felt it. You felt it as as you felt wounds that you suffered as a mortal. Um, uh, <clears throat> I'll be okay. <clears throat> Sleep. Hey, you get some rest, Davi. See. Maybe when we get back, you can like sew yourself a like a sick luchador mask or something. Everything was, it'll be okay. Uh, not the first time I've been burned like this. Everybody else is hurt, right? Um, Z's not, he just had two superficial. Quintus <laughs> is, yes. Did very, you guys, very hurt. Yeah. It, um, did you guys heal your superficial? Not yet. No? I, okay. I, I want, I've, yeah. I've Do like you heal a, it when you sleep or? Superficial, uh, you can heal anytime. It's just a rouse check per point you heal. Okay. Yep, so do that whenever you feel like it. Lyra will try to... He has one, and he does so successfully. I'll roll, I'll roll for the two. <laughs> I do still Actually, have I'll one, roll one at time. willpower. Mm. Uh, successful, and then... Successful. All right, cool. Fully and healed. Then, um, I think Dan uh, Quintus is down. He, he's taken two aggravated? Two aggravated and okay. two superficial. And, and two superficial. Yes. Okay. So there's so like just a, rouse the blood and uh, <laughs> and you're sitting on how how much hunger? Three, three. Okay. So like there is a like a hole mm. in his shirt where uh, bits of burning house shrapnel 
had hit him. And then I can't remember what the secondary wound was from, but um, it was um, when he opened fire on the on the barn when he. Yeah, that's right. Just, it was just yep bullet holes. Yeah, bullet holes. Cool. Got um, a few of those. Or probably shrapnel from the bullets just hitting everything. And, yep. Yeah. As he says, and uh, yeah, you, you too, Quintus. We'll have to find like a. I don't know. What do you? How do you, how do you hunt? I typically uh, visit the blood bank. It is not a very oh. difficult process. Uh, well, I don't. They probably don't have one in Etna, Maine, but maybe like Portland or something yeah. will have one for you. Banger probably has one. Oh, Banger, yeah. 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 Justin says, I got to go. Well, you'll be safe here. This place is built to be a safe house. The windows are fake. It's just timber. Whole thing. Thanks, no, Justin. No plumbing, but you don't need that. That door is the only way in and out. So. Gracias. You're good. I won't be far, though. Merci. Um, did you guys exchange phone numbers with him already? We did. Yeah. You did. Okay. And he leaves. Gets on his motorcycle and leaves. <sighs> Better put something up in front of that door, just in case. We don't know if this guy had friends, uh, a dead drop or something. These, these wackos, these preppers, they always have some sort of system in place if they go down, you know? Uh, at least that's what I saw on the that preppers, you know, that remember that preppers TV show? <laughs> Quintus? <laughs> Anyways. Yes, I, I do recall, but uh, one would hope that they cannot find this place. Uh, yeah. Well, you'd hope. And then the werewolves kind of looks out. The door the is actually made of metal, um, and it, it looks very secure. We need rest, and tomorrow we need to find food, and we need to discuss the things that are happening around us. Yeah. See. Si. Yeah. See. Si. Uh, I'm going to keep at this. You guys you guys go to bed. So what's the uh, that knife? The knife? Uh, I think Quintus grabbed it, didn't you? No, who grabbed it? Uh, I think it was... Uh, I think, think Larry did. Oh. Larry. Like, I think I, I Someone's was, got the phosphorus grenade and someone's got the knife. I, I didn't take any. I put it all in the back of the... Of the Hummer. Yeah. So that stuff's probably all in the Hummer. Word. Okay. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Forgot about the grenade. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, as he stays up a little longer, going through footage, just trying to, like, piece it together. Um, John, how do you confirm something's not a deep fake? <laughs> uh, um, that's a good question. <laughs> you can't really, unless you, um, you know, really look at it frame by frame and look, like, basically, what Z, if... You know, he's trying to figure out whether or not this actually happened. And he's looking, like, every single frame, he's stopping on any frame that has Mr. Broil in it. He's stopping mm-hmm. it and zooming in as much as he can, whatever detail he can get. See if there's any weird artifacts around Mr. Broil that would indicate that it was copied in there after the fact or whatever. Um, One thing that probably helps a lot is that there are several points where there's multiple angles that are the same uh, scene. Yeah. And... and he- after looking at this, uh, I, with a higher humanity, you, you're able to stay up an extra hour. Uh, yeah. And you, you spend that time looking at this, you know, the typical hacker yeah, staying yeah. up late. Yeah. <laughs> um, but you're pretty, you're, I mean, it, it looks real. Yeah. You get to the point, you find the video that actually shows him getting to Sydney's cell. Yeah. And, uh, and letting her out. And the two of them leaving the facility together. He puts them all in a, in like a folder, timelines them, mm-hmm. kind of reorganizes them, any of the data that has him in it, and we'll copy that to a hard drive. Okay. Uh, and and kind of pack that away. All right. And he starts, he like stretches his neck, starts to get stiff and mm-hmm. closes the lid of the laptop and goes and lays down. All right. You go to sleep. And I would like all of you to make... Humanity rolls for me. Roll your uh, humanity score and tell me how many successes you get. With uh, hunger? Um, No, you don't have to worry about hunger for this. Uh, so I still have that stain, so I roll one. The stain, no, it doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. Yeah, that doesn't matter. Yep. You're all rolling seven dice except John's rolling eight, right? Yep. Yeah. Wow. What's the difficulty? Looking for four successes. Nope. Uh, I got five. Z got five. The difficulty is what? 
Four. Four. Uh, one, two. I got two. Five, three. six successes. So Z and Quintus. Javi? No. <laughs> yeah. Uh, three. Four. Four. So you need, that's a one. Four was the magic oh, number. All right. As Josh teaches Dan how to read dice. <laughs> no, 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 I thought that you were saying four was the difficulty. It's always six. It's always, it's always six. six. Fuck. Aye, aye, aye. Welcome to episode eleven. <laughs> yeah. you know, Dan learns the I'm keeping mechanic. it fresh for everyone, right? Just reminding people of the and mechanics. Ten, tens explode, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. They do. Oh, boy. Uh, Larry Two tens. got one. One. Okay. Yikes. How did uh? How, how did you do, Ryan? I got two. two. One, two, three, four, four. Okay. That seems about right. Yeah. <laughs> I. When I thought about doing this, I thought statistically half of them should make it. Nice. Um, Close. Z, you wake up to the sound of a cell phone ringing. Um, probably your cell phone, actually. Okay. He quickly grabs it, and you realize that it's daytime. Silence. You can it? you can tell yeah. by the way your body feels. Fuck. Just so you know, whenever you're doing things during the day. When you're forced to wake up during the day, you stay awake for a scene, unless you get a crit success. Um, anything you do during the day, the most dice you can ever roll is equal to your humanity score. Okay. So just keep that in mind. Um, you quickly silence it and answer it. Uh, nobody on the ID? Uh, Justin. Justin. I right, answer it. Uh, As you answer it, you yeah. look towards the door and you see that Quintus is standing in front of it. With his back to you, his facing the door. Uh, yeah, Quint, uh, Justin, Quintus, what the fuck are you doing? You see that he is drawing in blood, his own blood, on the door, making oh. symbols. You're like warding it. He you- says, "I am. They're close. They'll be here soon." Who's what the fuck are you talking about? Wait, this Justin? Is, this is Quintus saying it? Yeah. Or, okay. This is Quintus saying it. Well, just, are you there, Justin? Hey, they, they're on your trail. Who's they? The, what? the fucking werewolves. They're are you close. F- They'll be there soon. Fuck. Look, I can't help you, but... I don't know. The only way they're getting in there is through that door. All right. As soon as the sun gets down, I, I, I don't know. If you're still alive, call. Will do. Fuck. Shit. You look at the time on your phone. It's 5 p.m. Son of a bitch. You say, son of a bitch. Dan, you wake up. You are standing in front of the door. Mm -hmm. There's blood on your hand. And Z is yelling into his phone. Can you make a rouse check for me? (laughs) Should I make a rouse check too? Uh, No. No. This is different. This is a special rouse check. I got a six. Oh, that's very important. Which is a <laughs> success. Success! <laughs> Yay! Look, He's I learning. was reading about the rules of like the difficult. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I hate all of you. <laughs> Dan, Quintus, you're very confused. You're not sure what's going on. Uh, you're not sure why you're standing here, why there's blood on your hand. He, Quintus kind of stutters and turns and kind of says, Z? Question, like, yeah, do you need me for your spell or whatever? He, he, Z like hangs up the phone for Justin. Quintus kind of turns and looks back at the, the symbols on the door. Can he recognize them? The symbols have faded away, but with your auspex power, mm-hmm. um, you have sensed the unseen. Correct. You can tell that there is a ward on this door. You hear Quintus, he's not facing you, he's just looking at the door and he kind of says, uh, uh, uh no, I, I do not need your assistance. Uh, Roll intelligence and thaumaturgy. Okay. Uh, how, the, how the fuck did you know that the werewolves are coming? Justin just called me. That wakes you up, Matt. With uh, three successes, you wake up when you are in a life-threatening situation. Huh, huh. <clears throat> Before then, it was just an urgent situation. <laughs> <laughs> cool. You wake up to the the werewolves are coming. <laughs> uh, One Jake, is by land, two is by sea. Eight successes. <laughs> what? <Shit>. Yo. <laughs> I rolled. That, yeah. What? <laughs> There's three tens. Is so, one of them a hunger? Uh, one of them is a hunger. All right. And then there's three more. 
One of them is the hunger. Uh, these are all hunger. Oh, oh that's oh, a lot wow. of hunger. Yep. Holy shit. So that does count as a critical. Yeah, but yep. messy. But messy. I become a werewolf. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you, you, you sense the unseen to see this ward, and you can see the runes that are on there. And then you remember, you remember reading them in a book. You remember reading them in a book that belongs to Sergei, a book in the basement of his house. Okay. You don't remember going there. Okay. Um, but this is a thaumaturgy ritual. Mm -hmm. It's a ward against lupines. The way it works is that the way all wards work mm -hmm. is that if the warded creature touches that doorway, it physically hurts them. Okay. Um, Quintus turns to you. He, he, it looks like he's very distracted. Like he's trying to yeah. think of two things at once at the same time. Yeah. And he says, um, this is a, a ward. Uh, I, I figured, but how, how the fuck do you know that the, they were coming? And oh, Javi, shit. See, I heard. Yeah, um, we're, we're kind of fucked right now. How soon? Soon. Uh, any minute now. This entrance is uh, <laughs> most likely safe. He, yeah, I mean, J Justin said that's the only way in, so as long as we can keep him away from that door. But the problem is is that uh, it will hurt them, but it will not uh, stop them from sitting outside. Right, but... We gotta wait until it's nighttime before we can even think about getting out there. And maybe I don't know. See him. Mejor's golf fuck, bag is in fuck, the fucking fuck. car. What time is it? Five. Fuck. We have. Well, uh, it's winter time, so we have a couple hours, maybe until Z like looks it up on his computer. <laughs> what the <laughs> what sunset is? Yeah. How far north are we in Maine still? Because it'll go you know, dark pretty soon. Yeah. <laughs> Um, the other thing that kind of works to your advantage is you're in the woods. There's a lot of tree cover. Mm -hmm. uh, it's probably <laughs> pretty dark out there al already. Yeah. Um, so ah, easy. Uh, the way that um, sunlight damage works is that you suffer aggravated damage equal to your bane severity. You suffer that much per... Oh, that's two for everyone, by the way. Yep. Uh, you suffer that much aggravated damage per round. <laughs> if you are, if you're like heavily covered or, uh, you know, block the sun in some way, it's every other round. Um, and this place is put in this spot to be heavily covered by the trees. Yeah. So in theory, you could run to the Humvee um, and get inside without taking damage. Well, uh, uh, whoever... Yeah. Uh, whoever is in the front would definitely be exposed to the sun, though. The uh, the windows are heavily tinted. <laughs> no, no. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, fuck, fuck. How long do you know? Well, sun goes down in about a half an hour, but it's still going to be twilight for a little while after that. So, no. for the what? Oh, the wolves. Si. Uh, minutes. I I don't know. It was Justin that told you. Yeah, yeah. He called. Uh. And you said it too. You you knew you were warding it. You hear a howl. Fuck. Okay. Um, we have uh, very little time. <laughs> we need to wake the others, huh? Are we going to make a run? Um. Yeah, you probably have to wait at least a half an hour before you can all safely go outside without taking damage. They're gonna ha they're gonna be wailing on that door. We need to barricade that in. Uh, I gotta make a call. Very well. Fuck, fuck. Are you guys are you gonna try to wake up uh the other Yeah, two? I'm gonna go over and try to wake up Ethan. And I'll try to wake up Larry. Alright, everyone give me rouse checks for the day for getting up. Uh I'm also gonna make can I make three oh, to re heal to heal and aggravated? Yep. Should make your regular one first. I was gonna say I'm gonna make <laughs> one at a time. <laughs> well the you make three pass. No <laughs> Alright. Just roll three more. Four. You you passed all of them. I passed. I rolled. Wow. rolled Holy shit! Two critted, yeah. That's, wow. Well, I think the, well, yeah, no, it would have been pass, everyone pass, is, fail. Okay, so, so you three so you three passes. Just mark one hunger then. Yeah. Yep. Nice. Damn. Ooh. Amazing. Mm. Um, and P 
people healed superficial damage. I'm just yep. kind of curious. I have not yet. I'm kind of curious where everyone is on the... Um, oh, Dan, the rouse check that I made you make was to do the ritual. Okay. Um, so so make, make another rouse check. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. And go ahead and add that. That's a level three ritual. The, um, okay, Warrior cool. Sleeping. You can add that to your list. Made it. Oh. Roll a so 10. You see, I totally fucked Quintus over. Yep. You know, he's possessed by a ghost. <laughs> he can only feed on elder blood. But I, but I'm kind. Yep. I gave him. I gave him a ritual. Yeah. It's a typical Dan character. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it checks all the boxes. Usually, I just write into my character yeah. background. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Um, Z goes to like the corner mm-hmm. where people aren't and calls Jackal. Chaotic answers. Z. Oh, chaotic. Fuck. Um, uh, sorry, he didn't wake up. Um, what? What's up? We're we're fucked over here. Where are you? We're outside of Etna, Maine. Um, there's you hear fuck, typing. There's fucking werewolves. What? Uh, yeah, they're they're on to us, and they're gonna break down the door. We need somebody to come at least draw them away or or help. Etna, Maine. Oh, Jesus, you're in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, I know. Um, do you, can you give me longitude, latitude? Yeah, yeah. Here, I see. He sent. I sent my location to. to him. All right. <clears throat> Uh, uh, stay on the line. Yep. Josh, Larry wakes up to, uh, Quintus at his shoulder. Do, do I wake up? You, you wake up. up. Okay. Larry, the wolves are coming. <laughs> <laughs> the possum does that too. <laughs> <laughs> and paws crossed. Paws crossed. Paws crossed. Rises out of a little uh-huh. mini coffin. <laughs> okay. You feel your body stiff, slow. Larry, he rises very like slowly and deliberately, almost like he's moving through like like gel. Yeah. And he stands to his feet, kind of shakes his head slowly. And they are close, Larry. They I uh I guess do we know that werewolves aren't affected by sunlight. That's mm-hmm. something we know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um what do you know about werewolves? Um you know that, you know that um, they have been known to kill kindred in in a fight, like kill them dead, uh, which not much in the world can do. You know that they tend to travel or be pack creatures, um, and that they seem to have a uncompromising hatred of vampires, especially when they're in their territory. How long you've heard rumors of them? asking for permission to come into cities for special reasons. Um, But in general, they don't really negotiate with your kind. How long until the sun is gone? Uh, um, He puts his phone down. He puts his phone to his chest. Uh, Like 30 minutes. It's about 5 p.m. right now. Uh, There's there's like forest out there. We might be able to get to the truck without much exposure, but whoever's driving is going to get... Hey, see you there? I can take care of it. One sec. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's See, up? I, I can have, uh, look, I can have some of our people on Route 93, uh, right right near your location. Route 93, it's, uh, I don't know, maybe maybe 20 minutes from you. I can have them there in, in half an hour. We're going to meet there? Yep. Okay. Uh, uh, half an hour. Okay. <clears throat> um, yeah. Well, all right. All right. Yeah, yeah that works. Are you? Uh, uh, I can, um, am I awake? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, Yo, Z, they're going to, I'm calling in everyone. They're going to have questions. I know, I know, but fuck it. Yeah. Tell them to pack their silverware. <laughs> Mijo. Uh, so, get ready. I can I can make a break for it. Get to the truck, get us to the door, and get us out of here. Z sets his phone down and says, All right, uh, we, we will have help on 93 in about a half an hour. I think we need to hold the door until it gets closer to sunset. Then we make a break for it and head to 93, and then we'll have some help. He kinda, his eyes are darting around, kind of judge your faces as he says that. I can I can go now. Yeah, but they're going to swarm the, the truck. They're going to rip you apart, man. I are mean, they outside right now? They are very close. You hear something hit the wall. Okay, they're here right now. <laughs> <laughs> the, the building shakes. And you hear, you all hear. 
Awful. <laughs> Awful. <clears throat> are the weapons are still in the truck? See? Yeah. I have my pistol on me, but that's about it. Uh, Jake, I activate my uh, heightened senses. Okay. And I go toward, I, I walk towards the door. All right. And I just kind of put my ear to it. <laughs> Dan, go ahead and roll uh, awareness and wits for me. Does anyone have that auspex? I, I found it. Never mind. Huh. I rolled three dice. I got five successes. Damn. All right. Now roll wits and resolve. Z, can you check the weather? Which way is the wind blowing? Uh, Yeah, yeah, yeah. I check um, three successes. Weather.com. That's what you needed. Okay. <clears throat> All right. You go to the door and you start listening and you hear what sounds like two creatures out there, two wolves, um, grunting, sniffing around. And then one of them hits the door with its body. Um, the door shakes. You fall backwards. You manage to turn your aspects off just in time. Mm hmm. Um, and then you hear it yelp. <clears throat> Quintus kind of recoiling from the door, mm. catches himself on the bed. He puts a hand to steady himself and he doesn't say anything. He just holds up two fingers to indicate how many are out there. As he says, um, it's, it's, I don't know if it's coming from the Northwest or to the Northwest. <laughs> I never understand. Uh, but, from. Okay. Um, yeah. And about five miles an hour that way it's like four knots <laughs> if we end up out there if you can stay north or northwest of wherever we think they are yeah all right um fuck yeah so uh, oh wait no the, the other way around yeah, yeah. Southeast. 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 Yeah. what did uh justin quintus is, is actually kind of whispering he said what did uh justin say did he could he help us not now. I mean, he, he's a he's one of us. He can't come here. Uh, I understand this, but uh, when when we are trying no, to make our move... Don't worry, I, I got help coming, but we have to get to 93. Uh, Who's and, coming? Um, my, I'll have to explain it to you later, but fuck. We're going to have to get to the truck, get in there, and try to drive them away. Uh, maybe make a distraction? There are no windows. There is no way out other than this door. Yeah. Quintus is, he's kind of gone quiet. He's looking down at his body. There's a big hole <laughs> in his ribs. You hear another thud <clears throat> on the door and you hear someone go, ah, like a human voice. Mm -hmm. Quintus puts his finger to his lips. Come out, little pigs. I guess there is no hiding it. Yeah. Um. So let's, here, drag that bed in front of the door. It gives us another minute, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Is, is there anything in here we can use? Can I, can Javi start looking around to see if there's any weapons lying around in this safe house that we didn't check when we first got here, seeing as we were so injured? Uh, yeah, sure. Give me, um, roll investigate and, and intelligence for me. Yet. <laughs> Zero. <laughs> <laughs> place looks pretty empty. The place yeah. is pretty sparse. There's, there's not. I mean, it's, it's a room where you can sleep for the day. My, my eye still has not healed up. So <laughs> true. The depth true. perception is <laughs> real, real <laughs> off. I'm having a hard time opening uh, stuff. The <laughs> it, I can't. Fast. We have to be fast before more show up. Whatever we decide, it has to be now, huh? What's uh, the greater risk? More of them. Or the sun? I don't know. I mean, I'm I'm More pretty. I'm not banged up like you all, so I could drive and take the brunt. Um, Michal can do that. I, huh? I got it. Okay. Um, as long as you guys are in back, you know, you might get a little singe here and there. But I, I look at you. Larry looks at Z, and then his eyes look over Javi and and Quintus. Say. We can't fight the sun. No, but I mean, we only need to be shaded. 
We also do you think have... um do you think Z has ever been out in the sun as a vampire? Yeah, he's probably okay. didn't um, realize how late it was and so one thing that you remember about the sun is this supernatural fear that overcame you when you were exposed to it that made you just want to hide. And and you think about that now and you think about if that happens to whoever is driving, you're fucked. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, if we go out in the sun, uh, someone might be able to drive us. You know, Ethan, if you know, if you have the the will, but like, Alice, fuck. Uncle Uncle Sean taught me that the fear is all in your head, man. Yeah, but n- no, um, <laughs> you no. know, last time I was in the sun, I was uh, just I was up too late, and uh, all I want to do is run, run and hide. Nothing else mattered. And if you're driving and that hits you, we're fucked. You're going to go into a tree and they're going to be on us. No, but you, you, you don't know Uncle Sean. Just trust me he, on this. All right. He's different for us. He's okay. Trust. Huh? Uh, it, so like m- mechanically, I don't think it is. No, yeah. it is. How so? Um, yeah. In both. Well, that's part of the Defy Bane ability. Oh, is it? So for okay. a scene, yeah, you can. Um, you yeah. don't have to make terror checks for it? Um, no. Let me, let me double check, but. Yeah, that would be an important yes. point. Yeah. 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 Potent. Yeah. Potable. Yeah. Damn. Level Can make themselves temporarily resistant to fire and sunlight as well as other grievous wounds that could threaten them with final death. So it, the way it works is every time you take damage, you can rouse the blood to activate the power to, to soak it. Correct. Um, to it, potentially. Turns, it turns into superficial. Yeah. Turns in all right, to yeah. make it superficial. Yeah. Okay. Um, and it makes you temporarily immune to the the frenzy check, the terror check. Yeah, the terror check. Does it? It does. Does it? Does it say that? I don't it know. Does not say that. But. No. I mean, maybe one or two minutes, three minutes in the sun, uh, uh, Ethan. But I mean, at one point, you're you're just gonna want to hide. Do you believe in these uh, friends of yours that are coming to help us? Yeah, I do. And what See, of Justin? But they're not coming here. No, we have to meet him on 93. So we have to get to the fucking car, huh? Yeah, we got to so hold So we out. can't sit in this fucking place? But they're not going to be there for another half an hour. And it's only like five minutes to 93 from here. So we get there. We're going to have our ass sitting out. And we must wait. So we wait and hope they don't break down the well, door. Well, start putting shit in front of it. I the, don't know. The, the, okay. the, the then, door... Okay. Uh, not by the hair on our chinny chin chins. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like yell that? Yeah, yeah. Ye- <laughs> Quintus like goes Ryan, wide-eyed. He's Ryan, terrified. How, tell how do you yell it? Do you yell? Are you mocking them? I mean, they they said little pigs, little okay. pigs. Let me in. I mean, it's, yeah, roll, that's the right oh. answer. Make a roll for me. Roll oh. <laughs> form and manipulation. And this is not a cappella. You do it's not, not get acapella. Right. <laughs> Unless you're singing it. <laughs> I, uh, no, I, <laughs> I got zero successes. They're not afraid. <laughs> <laughs> they you hear you hear. <laughs> is it wise to uh antagonize them? I, and they they just they said but I was saying it was this just the answer to what they said. <laughs> I, I don't think I don't think it's gonna make a difference whether we antagonize them or Look, not. Improv classes are all uh, call and response. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, and with that yeah. really good uh, all specs roll earlier, mm-hmm. you you're using it again, and you can hear them talking. You hear one of you hear the one that was laughing say, um, "I can be back in in fifteen minutes with a chainsaw." I hold up my hand in the room and I start repeating what they're saying. Okay. And then a woman's voice says, we can rip through the side of this building in a few minutes. It's not going to feel good, but we can do it. And the other one says, this place is a fucking fortress. Yeah, it won't feel good. We're not going through that front door, though. <sighs> she sighs. This says, well, what do you want to do? And there's a pause. He says, call Donovan, have him come with the chainsaw. Quintus says those last few words. And then he says, 
He is walking away with his phone. I cannot hear him. Fifteen minutes. Huh? Fifteen. Z looks at, like, his phone for time. That puts you pretty close. It's been about ten minutes. I think, uh, we plan in about ten, making a run for the car. Sun be damned. Well, I mean, let's wait until they, like, start trying to chainsaw a hole in the building and then with the noise we can make a break out the door yeah yeah I mean they're going to be watching the door yeah right but we can I mean the the door currently it is uh, what they avoid the most right but I mean I mean if we if we want to wait until they're like like really you know if we, if we play it until they're really close to getting in it's risky but they'd probably all be in this Donovan guy's right going to come too. So there's going to be another werewolf. So we're looking at three, hopefully getting ready to run in. <sighs> we might be able to run out. Yeah. I mean, if you think we can cut it that close. I mean, at worst, there's one left watching the door. Yeah. So basically, you guys can wait until the very last minute um, and pretty much avoid the sun. It'll be really close to sunset. There's tree cover. Um, so I won't make you roll for sunlight damage. Um, but it'll mean potentially having a third one here. Quintus is kind of nervously or tapping can, his foot at the door. Or you can go a little bit before he gets here and have a little bit of uh, a few rounds of having to deal with that. Like leave in 10 minutes rather mm-hmm. than 15? Yep. I mean, Javi, he's not going to make it through the sun. I mean, you, you feel like you can take a full blast of sunlight? I mean, it's not full, but it's going to be there. It's going to feel about as good as that flare did. Hmm. I fear these things, too. I look at Javi. <clears throat> I don't know, Javi. You're the... <clears throat> you... What do we do? I don't know. Two is bad enough. Three is worse. So in in ten. Ten minutes. Larry's been pretty quiet. Larry is standing like three quarters of the way back from the door. Kind of like half crouched. Like sort of sitting on his haunches. The skinning blade is in his hand. Johnny is like in the corner. skinning blade. Oh yeah, right. I don't (laughs) have a blade. Um, He's just sitting there. Just staring at the door. And he says, we we can't fight the sun. Yeah, and I'm, I mean, what Ethan says is probably right. If they if they start chainsawing one of these windows down or whatever, they're all going to be ready to run in. Maybe one's going to be watching the door. But, uh... So the, ho- the house doesn't even have windows. On the yeah. outside, it has window frames that look like windows, but there there's not even a window behind it. But it's all wood, right? Correct. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, you know, wherever they want to to cut in, they'll cut in, and that's when they'll go. Shitty ass prepper should have put wood on side of the concrete. <laughs> Would have been cost too much to get a concrete truck out here. Yeah, too much money. <laughs> What's- Larry, Larry, you make a point. Yes, that uh, if we go too early, we fight the sun and the wolves. If we go a little later, we only fight the wolves. Yes. If, we, if we can get away from here, scot free, then we'll have a lot of help. Z kind of looks down on the ground when he says that. I think that's all we can do. We just have to be fierce and quick. Yeah. Like any animal trying to escape. Quintus looks up at you. He says, I am neither of those things, Larry. Yes, you are. We're all prey right now. Pray can fight back, but our objective is to get out, not to win. Jake, hmm. I'm going to try to heal one of my superficial. <laughs> Go yeah. ahead. You're at four hunger? Three. No, you're at three. Okay. <laughs> You've been rolling really <laughs> good. Yeah. It's a different resource for old Quintus than oh, it is for the rest of you. man. <laughs> a lot more real. A lot harder to replenish that yeah. resource for that one. 
Wow. Dan, you made it with that roll of a six. That's a success. success. In case you're wondering. Got it. None of us know. Odd numbers? (laughs) None of us know about this, Correct. 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 Yeah. You want to try to do the other one? Fuck no. Um, Z (laughs) says, uh, I know, like, maybe I haven't been the most honest with you guys. I mean, Quintus, you know, your friend, uh, I didn't know about that, but. He nods slowly. Look, you're going to have to trust me on this one. These people come and they're friends of mine. What is he, mortal? No, they're kindred. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, they're, uh, they're Jackal's crew. They're, um, he's like fidgeting with his hands, like playing with his phone. I do not know what this means. They're, uh, they're Anarchs. They're not Camarillo. Larry, like, does a slow nod. Like, things make more yeah. sense now. And they help you because... Uh, I mean, <laughs> uh, I'm basically one of them. So we- you are a spy? Um, ki- uh, kind of. We can deal with that later. Yeah. As long as they understand that this is something for you. Yeah, they know that. It's we, been close to 10 minutes now. Quintus looks down at the watch. We have uh, two minutes. He's pushing the bed aside from the door quietly, as quietly as he can. Can you get that uh, truck started and ready to go from here? It's got auto start. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was trying to see if I could... Uh... Move it. Move, yeah. yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at the features now. I mean, I, it, I could crab walk it. Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Off a little bit. <laughs> oh, Ryan, don't worry. Yeah. I've spent a lot of time <laughs> researching. Oh, I hate that. <laughs> researching I the, hate that. the 2022 yeah. Hummer EV Edition yeah. 1. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I have some fun facts for you. Mm-hmm. Mm. Um, I say when we open the doors, we all need to know what we're action we're each taking the best I can do is try to distract them they'll be able to smell me but it's still harder to find me I can try to call on some help of my own it won't be much but again a distraction I think I'm with you I'll go the other way but I'll I'll take a shot at him I'm fast and I'm not hurt like Javi and Javi and Quintus are. That weapon is in the back and the blade. Yeah. Well, I, I still have my pistol on me. Someone had also gotten a silver knife. Mm. Or, um, yeah, someone, someone had, had. One of you, uh, I think Javi or Ethan had gotten that before you left. It, that's the blade yeah. that like yeah. felt. Nope, that's a different. Nope. Oh. Thing. A different no. one. Yeah, yeah. But when when they we started when the last game, yeah, yeah you guys were silver look, bullets. You were trying to oh, get yeah. silver bullets. I said the best you could do is you found a, a silver sil- a silver knife. All right. All right. So that's probably also in the Hummer. So I'll oh it's in the Hummer. Yeah, yeah, yeah probably. You, you, I mean, if that was in your personal stuff, you might have brought. Yeah. I, mean, I would right? think that. Yeah, yeah I would have. You, yeah, yeah, you have it on you. That's fine. So you have that on you. Yeah. And then the other knife is in the Hummer, the big one. I'll. Try to get that blade out of the Hummer. Mine is broken. All right, so Z, Larry, you guys are going to make a distraction. Yeah. All right. Ethan, you run for the truck. So I'll break through the door first, and then I'll try to hold off anybody who's coming in, let you guys make a run for it. It is uh, very important that uh, you get to the car and you can drive. Everybody. I'm sure somebody else knows how to drive, but I don't think. Larry's got one in drive. Yeah. <laughs> Javi Quinzis, I don't think either of you guys are in any kind of shape to face off with a, with a werewolf. I think even See? if I uh, were not wounded, it would still be the same case. I mean, I'm not saying I am either, but, you know, I stand a better chance, so. I have never seen these uh, creatures. I, I've only ever heard of them. I don't think I've never seen one. Oh, you guys never seen the Twilight movies? I mean, I've seen like security camera footage from you know dark websites that have it on there, but you know you don't know whether it's fake or real. But 
I had to clean up after one. Your phone rings. Pick it up. Yeah. Oh, actually, hold on. I want to hear the story. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Before your phone rings. Cut, cut, cut. <clears throat> it's 30 years ago. It was a mess, huh? Six of us. Two of them. Seven corpses. I don't know what happened to the other looping. Shit. Why is it uh, that they ate us all? I, I don't know. You'd have to ask them. Your phone rings. Z. It's Justin. Yeah. Hey, Justin. I'm awake. Yeah. Uh, meet us on 93. There's and- a truck coming down the driveway. Yeah, I think one's coming with a, a chainsaw. We're going to make a break for it in a couple minutes. Yeah, he made us here on, 90, on 93, right next to exit 42. I got uh, more coming, more of us. Yeah, I got the call too. Good. Quintus looks up from his watch. It is time. There's a truck coming down the, the drive. I think it's the, the last one. Quintus stands to the side of the door. Stay back, Johnny. So you guys are waiting until they like start cutting. Yeah, waiting until the last I, possible I, minute. I, I, are we? I thought no, we, I thought we were going to go. I don't know. Right, no, no. I thought we were going to go right beef. We have like a time. Yeah. Before before he gets yeah down. Okay. before he gets oh, okay. there. Yeah, yeah. As long as we think the sun is sufficiently. Um. So, if you go right now, um, whoever's in the front of the car is gonna ha- is gonna take some aggravated damage from the sun. Um, or anyone who like sticks their head out or anything like that. Um, anyone who doesn't immediately go to the car is also going to take a round of damage. Yeah, Z Basically, at- every other round, you're going to take damage if you go now. Z looks at his phone. He says, we still got like a minute or two. Um, if if you if you if you're waiting till this guy's on scene, then yeah, you don't have to wait till he's literally cutting, but mm-hmm. you, you yeah. wait. Yeah, I guess okay. we're waiting, right? Yeah. That was yep. the yeah. right. Uh Jake, I'm going to try to Heal my last superficial. <laughs> okay. Done. I like how dramatic you make this. Well, it is. Yeah, do, do you <laughs> frenzy automatically at five? If you're at no. five, then you're basically on the edge. Any smell of blood, sight of blood makes you make a check. You made it. Pass it again. All right. God, Yowza. you're sitting pretty Jeez. on three nice. hunger. Yowza. And now I'm just down to two yeah, aggravated. Javi, what are you at? Uh, I have four aggravated. Out of five. Fuck. Out of five, mm-hmm. right. no, out of, out of six. Oh, you healed six. one, yeah. right? Out of six. I'm sorry. Holy shit! Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah. rouse for Defy Bane bef- right before we head out. So, oh, you won't have to. Yeah, we're, we're not gonna be in the sun. The point is that you guys are gonna wait. Oh, mm-hmm. to, um, but we, there's gonna be oh, werewolves out there, so I'm gonna. Oh, yeah, uh, that. So the the reason it's it. it's um yep yeah, yep. So you you only have to do that like when you get attacked. It's called reactive because you do it when. Oh, well, the reactive part is the when you have to make a check for it. So you have to you have okay. to rouse either way. Okay, but if I see. you like if so, I'm gonna do it in case I get hit. If oh, I do okay. it when I get hit, I need to make a um, I think it's survival and okay, uh, something else. Sounds good. Yeah, and you uh, you fight with blades, so you have the silver blade, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, Larry's gonna try to rouse to disappear. Okay, say so I'll be out there. Made it. We are fucking yeah. yeah. That's a lot of rouse checks, by the yeah, way. Yeah, we're we're doing. Rousing. With one failed, uh, I failed mine to wake yeah. up. But yeah, two failed then. Because um, he failed one. Yeah, okay. yeah, I failed one out of four. But out of probably like ten or more, your timer on your phone goes off. You hear a ching. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Uh, sun's down. You hear little pig, little pig. Let me in. <laughs> let them start cutting. Yeah, they'll be around the side. <sighs> yeah. You just hear Larry's voice. You can't see him now. Yep. Uh, Z checks his gun, make sure it's actually loaded. Okay. Ethan opens the door. I, I, I kick. Yeah, I'm gonna kick it open. Kicks the door yeah. open. Before you do that, you take your keys on your little fob. You start the Hummer, and you put it into <laughs> Watts to Freedom mode. <laughs> <laughs> this is a real thing uh, yeah, a real yeah, feature yeah, yeah, yeah. of the 2022 Hummer EV first sponsored by Hummer this podcast. Yeah. Nice. they gave me a Hummer yeah. for running this game oh, yeah. Yeah. Pretty, pretty cool yeah. um, you didn't introduce you didn't introduce the car let me tell you a little bit about let me tell you a little bit about E-Crane E-Crane has a top speed of 106 miles per hour that is 170 kilometers per hour for our strangely majority um, mm-hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> European <laughs> listeners. Uh, it has three motors providing a thousand horsepower, which it needs because it weighs nine thousand pounds. Oh, oh, shit. Shit. That's four thousand kilograms. Lord. Which is roughly twice the weight of the average SUV. It is literally the heaviest car on the road. <laughs> To the point where in most European countries, you cannot drive it without a special license. You're going to rip up the fucking roof. Wow. But not in America. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah. Proud to be an American. <laughs> Probably the weirdest feature about the Hummer EV is that it goes zero to 60 in three seconds. Mm. Crazy. Wow. Which is Powerful. Faster than a Lamborghini. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. It's crazy. 9,000 yep. pounds of it. Yeah. Clearly, Ooh. clearly I, not the top speed of a Lamborghini, but more acceleration. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I introduced this vehicle into the game for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> it is intended to be an off-road vehicle with the crab walk feature that allows it to drive sideways. That also, also is in parallel parking. Yeah, that thing's yeah. going to get stuck in mud in like two <laughs> seconds. Mm -hmm. Probably not with its 36-inch wheels. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, You're silly. You're silly. Yeah. You know, I kind of want to buy a Hummer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, you can if you have $108,000. Oh, wow. <laughs> that seems reasonable. That seems reasonable. <laughs> Comparatively. Yeah. Um, so I have in front of me here a sheet that says 2022 Hummer EV. E crane versus werewolf. All right. <laughs> so I'm going to give you guys each a sheet. Ethan, you're the driver. And the rest of you get these passenger actions. So the way this is going to work, pass that one to John. How exactly you get into the car and get out of here is going to determine your starting distance, which is just a number. We can think of it as car lengths if we want. Mm. Um, Every round, at the end of every round, the driver and the werewolves are going to make a chase roll. Whatever the difference is on that roll is going to determine the change in the starting distance. If you're at distance zero, there are certain things you can do. Um, there are certain things that the werewolves can do when they're at distance zero. The most important being attacking E-Crane <laughs> or potentially attacking the people inside. So... I've given the passengers things that they can do. Obviously, you can make shit up, but I thought that that would be helpful. Uh, and Ryan, I've also given you a list of kind of things you can do, but also feel free to make things up. So those things for you, Ryan, are in addition to the fact that at the end of the round, you will make a chase roll using your drive and um, dexterity. Uh, and there's a bunch of ways that that can get modified. So other players can add bonuses to it and whatnot. Um, but essentially think of that chase roll as just the way we're going to end every round. Um, so we'll do like a standard combat. Everyone will say what they're going to do. It'll all happen simultaneously. Then we'll do a chase roll to determine for the next turn where we are, like how far away you are from, from the wolves. Does that all make sense to you guys? Yeah. yeah. Any, yeah. any questions cool. on the, the moves or anything cool. like that? Cool. Cool. No, that makes mm -hmm. sense. Um, yeah. E crane has a health bar as it takes damage you put people inside may be exposed to damage. What that means is that if the werewolves are at distance zero, they can attack you. Um, so I will let you know if you're exposed for whatever reason. But if you're exposed and your name is Javi, you might want to move. Mm. <laughs> Fair. Okay. Cool. Awesome. Ethan, you put the car, you put the Hummer in Watts to Freedom mode. The wheels lowered slightly. The engines begin to supercharge, preparing to go zero to 60 in three seconds. And you make your way to the door, which opens automatically as you run towards it. What's everyone doing? We'll just go around the table, start with uh, Javi, because he's the one to my left. Oh, so Jake, I was going to let... Or we can go with you. Yeah, I was going to make sure. I was going to make sure that um, that Javi and um, Quintus got in the car before I before I did. So I was okay. going to kind of guard, guard there. Um. So you're going to come out and you're going to kind of like step to the side and and guard their approach to the car yeah okay sure sounds good that that will basically be what you're doing yep um javi what are you gonna do uh javi is moving as fast as as he can to the back seat of this hummer um so as far as seats there's driver shotgun left right middle in the back uh bitch seat in the middle all right Oh, there's also sunroof. There, yeah, there's, it's a full, yeah. 
Um, it it actually has glass. four sunroofs. There's a sunroof basically above every seat. It's all glass. Yeah, the roof is um, all glass. Yeah. So, and they all open individually. Uh, so anyone can actually pop up onto the roof. Oh, yeah, it's kind of weird. But that's how, <laughs> that's how it really is. <laughs> uh, so you're, but you're back middle. Yep. Safe seat in the house. All right. And so you're just going to run for the, for the car. Uh, Quintus, what are you going to do? The kind of bird's eye view is Quintus, as the door flies open, starts running inside the room mm-hmm. and then <laughs> runs right out. You do that cartoon thing when you're running yeah. in place. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and he runs out and so you sort of see top down him running out of the hotel or the, the <laughs> safe room towards the, um, the car as Javi jumps in the back. Quintus gets in the left side behind the driver. Okay. This Airbnb sucks. Yep. <laughs> One star. One star. <laughs> Larry, what are you doing? Larry is going outside, making for the rear of the mm-hmm. Humvee. One needing to get that blade. But when he gets outside, he is going to um, call uh, in a above human hearing for creatures of the night. Okay. The many bats that would be found in the woods at uh, Sunset in Maine. All right. I'm going to note that I, I love this. I love what's happening. But I would love to go back historically and find the number of characters that Joshua has that can summon animal swarms. <laughs> oh, really, Mr. I do blood? <laughs> <laughs> I get it. I get it. We all have our True. tropes. <laughs> so you're going to do that as you head for the back seat. And when you get in the back seat, you want to get that knife. Yep. Okay. And um, Z. Um, Z is kind of bringing up the rear, takes a couple shots into the panel that they're cutting into, mm-hmm. just kind of as a distraction, uh, and then runs to the, the shotgun seat. Okay. All right. Um, Larry, uh, what is there an animalism role involved with, yes. with uh, Feral, Feral, Feral Whispers? whispers. Okay. So you I give will. me that. Um, Quintus and Javier, you guys aren't going to roll. Oh, thank God. Um, Ethan, uh, I'd like you to roll um, athletics and strength. And um, Z, you're taking a shot before you leave. Yeah. Uh, roll firearms and dexterity for me. Okay. I got two successes. Z got zero. Okay. You hit the wall. And yep. Yeah. Larry, how did you do? Uh, Fill the rounds check for it, and I only got one success. The difficulty is based on the, um, basically the, like how the, the c- c- commonality yeah. of mm-hmm. the animals mm-hmm. in the area. And, so, and but also what you're having them do. Correct. I would. Ha- I'm gonna have to do a separate check for that. Okay. You get one bat. <laughs> yeah. So it's <laughs> it's it's calling the creatures forth, and then I will have to direct them. But I think it'll be a separate action. Yeah, Larry didn't know there was a like really large scale rabies outbreak in this area and killed <laughs> off most of the bat population. Make a make another check for what you're gonna have them do. Okay. Sadly didn't affect the werewolves. And, and what are you gonna have them do? What um, is your goal? I just want them to basically, you know, swoop <laughs> and swarm, distract. Swarm, distract. Yeah. yeah, they're not like gonna physically mm-hmm. attack mm-hmm. them, but Okay. Uh three successes. Okay. There's only a few bats, uh, but they but they, they seem to be doing what you tell them to do. All right, so I like uh, Quintus's idea of the bird's eye view. We see above the shed, the small building in the woods, and we see a man walking up to the side with a chainsaw start to cut into the building, and we see behind him two enormous wolves. I don't think any of you know how werewolves work, but they have actually multiple forms they can take. These are, imagine the wolf, the wolf in, at the beginning of the 300 movie. It's a horse-sized wolf on all fours. Yeesh. They're pacing back and forth behind this man who's cutting into the building with a chainsaw. All of a sudden, the wolves look up. They look towards the Hummer as it turns on. The daytime running lights light up along the back, illuminating the H shape. <laughs> <laughs> and the car begins to lower and the doors begin to open. It takes the wolves a moment to react and they start 
leaping, bounding towards the front of the house as they realize that you're making a break for it. Wolf, uh, bats start to swarm around them. Ethan, you put yourself between them and Javier, and one of them bowls right through you, knocks you to the ground, um, and leaps and hits that door of the Hummer just as he slams it shut behind him. And then you scramble to your feet. You make it You make it to the driver's seat. Z, you shoot off a few rounds just kind of into the dirt trying to distract them. And you all take off. Um, essentially, only... Johnny comes running and jumps in the seat. John, Johnny got left behind. No, I can't. Um, <laughs> <laughs> they are going to start this chase right behind you guys. Uh, because there wasn't a whole lot of success in mm-hmm. slowing them down. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They're one away, essentially one car length away. One of them whacks the side. The other comes around the corner just as you peel out and take take out, uh, you know, head down this dirt, this gravel road out of there as quickly as you can with these two horse-sized wolves in pursuit. Awful. What do you guys want to do? Mm-hmm. Uh, Z opens the sunroof and gets out on the roof and uh, is going to try to slow them down, make them weave and um, from shots. You're shooting. Uh, he's going to shoot his pistol at first, but he's going to yell down, someone hand me one of the M4s. <laughs> oh, yeah, the boxy guns in the yeah. back. Yeah. All right. We What's everyone that, else going to do? that sick fucking scar that that guy had. Oh, yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Ryan, you should probably, say, you should probably declare last. Okay. Probably. Yep. He's the driver. Um, Javi? Uh... I am going to reach back for that dope ass scar and hand it up to Z. Mm-hmm. I'll let you do that. If you want to do that as your action, I'll let Z shoot with that this turn, or you can just do it as a free action. He can shoot with the next turn. I'll do it as my action. Okay. All right. Quintus? I am going to uh, kind of scramble to pull up um, my phone and maps, and I'm going to start looking at where we're going. And from behind uh, uh, Ethan, I'm going to try to give him as much information as I can about the route that he's taking. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to try to help the driver. Okay. You're in the front seat, Z? Yeah. Yeah, shotgun. Uh, I I guess um, Larry's going to try to do the slow them down using okay. that animalism feature. Yeah, kind still of trying to-, trying to get the bats to continue to follow you. Yeah. And um, says... Ethan, can I use that blade? Oh, fuck yeah. So other than so that, you take the blade, but you're going to do the anim- animalism yeah. thing? All right. Jake, I think uh, the role would be like maybe composure and awareness. Go ahead. Okay. And Josh, you make your role as well. John, um, yep. your uh, it's firearms and dexterity. Yep. DC is one plus the distance, so it's two. So basically anything over two is going to add to the damage cool. of the gun. Um, two successes, so that's nothing, I think, because it's a one, minus one per success over two. Over two, yep. So, Yeah, I only got one, no so oh. no effect. Okay. Uh, I got two, so I do weapon damage. So that's a hit, but no extra, right? Yep. So just weapon damage. What's the weapon damage on that scar? Um, Who's our gun expert here, Josh? What do you do? So I'm looking at a list of weapons here, and medium is a... a 308 rifle, 9 mm yeah, pistol. This is like movie. And then heavy is like a 12 gauge, 357 magnum. You think this is a heavy weapon? Yes. Yeah. Velocity matters more than the size of the round. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And a battle rifle is shooting okay. a very high velocity round. All right. That means it is a four <laughs> damage weapon. Right. Um, yeah. It's, I mean, this is a, it, this is a non-legal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so four damage then. Four damage, all right. They do have a little bit. Of, they have one armor. I'm yep. just going to, just so you know, uh, so to make it quicker in the future, you can just tell me after the armor how much damage you do. Yep. So you do three damage to one of them. Okay. So the way that this is going to work, I'll just tell you guys, werewolves have a lot of health. They heal every round. But what's going to happen when you shoot them is every level of damage you do is going to take one die away from their dice pool for the chase scene. Cool. Mm. Yeah, cool. Right. yeah most, cool. mostly what he's trying to do is slow them down. Yep. Mm-hmm. yep. All right. And... You hear that weapon rip uh, rip a couple shots into the darkness. Ethan, what are you doing? 
Uh, I think this first round, I'm just going to focus on the road. <laughs> okay. Because I know road that, again. Uh, yeah. As we're, as we're going out the... Mm-hmm. I, I know there were landmines um, on the way in. Uh, you're, so that was on his private road. Okay. Oh, we're um, out the, there's we're none okay. here. Yeah, you're cool. on like right. uh, just a, like an access road. Yep. Uh, but yeah, focus on the road is a... I, so I gave Ryan a list of things he can oh, do, okay. and that's the basic oh, yeah. do nothing except try to drive better. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Go ahead and roll. It's a lot of dice. Uh, I got three successes. Okay. The werewolf that you shoot, you make contact with it, um, and you see it kind of like uh, slide into the dirt, slow down just enough to fall ba- fall back a little bit. The other one, unmolested, seems to be actually gaining on you guys, and it comes up right next to the Hummer. So one of them is at distance two, the other one's at distance zero. Right. What about the, the third one? The third one, the one with the chainsaw, yeah. isn't following. Okay. Maybe he's a man. Devin, can I get some engine revving? Oh, wait. Nope. It's completely nah. silent. Unnecessary. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't add, like, an artificial engine. So that's the that. worst part, is, like, it's so, like, I don't know, like, that sound is so iconic yeah. to any, like, chase scene. I can play you a low C, which is what they <laughs> emit. <laughs> yeah, <just> a... <laughs> All right. We have one at range zero, one at range two now. Uh, Javi, what are you doing? Uh, Javi is going to reach back into that golf bag and see if Ethan has a shotgun back there uh, and pull that out to... Defend E Crane. Uh, if there's one up next to it, he's just gonna like put the barrel of the shotgun up against the glass and just fucking fire it through the glass. Yeah, if well, it gets up on the roof. Yeah. Oh well, yeah, wherever this thing like makes his attack, he's gonna fire it through the. Okay. Um, you're gonna roll firearms and composure for me, uh, John. What are you doing? Um, Z yells. He's on the right. He's on the right. He's right next to us. And uh, he's gonna try to do the same thing. Try to get this one off of the off of the uh, truck. You're gonna defend. Yeah. Okay. Firearms and composure as well. Okay. Three successes. Uh, but I did roll messy. No, no, sorry, I did not roll messy. Okay. Dan, what are you doing? I think I'm gonna try the same thing, but um, my dice pool isn't really enough to. <laughs> I might try something different. I'm I'm gonna try to think of something maybe off the list. Give me a sec. Sure. Larry? If it's physical, you can rouse the blood for uh, a couple more dice. Yep. yep. Um, yes. Larry is doing that. He's rousing the blood and through windows or um, sunroof, he's going to take that silver blade and uh, try to you make, a, attack it? make a lunging attack. Sure. Guess, defend crane or whatever. Okay. So. Um, well, you can defend or you can just be trying to do damage. It's up to you. Um. Oh, I don't know. Um, I guess I'm defending e- oh. Ukraine. Okay. Um, dexterity and melee. Failed my rouse check. <laughs> uh, John, what did you get? Two successes. Okay. Ryan, what are you doing? Um, I'm going to try for the side swipe. <laughs> <laughs> and if this, uh, this goes poorly, it'll probably be the last time I try this. But yeah, uh, yeah. let's go for it. Uh, all right. I got two successes. Uh, so damage equals diff well, plus two. Well, it's a opposed it's roll. It's opposed roll. So I got two successes on that. Okay. Uh, Larry got a messy critical with six successes. Oh my Holy god! Shit. Yeah, it was a reminder, Josh. Okay. When they take damage, uh, it reduces their dice pool for the rest mm-hmm. of the chase. Let me think about that for a second. Dan, did you figure out what you're doing? Nope. Uh, I am. I think maybe, uh, Z, you're still, like, got your head out a window. I'm at the sunroof, yeah. Uh, he's going to, I think he'll he'll call up to you, Z, give me your phone. And he's going to try to see where the his support is at. Uh, so it may not necessarily pertain to this, but he's just going to try to track where the, the next kind of marker that we need to get to. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, Z takes the cell phone out of his pocket, unlocks it, and just drops it down the 
onto the seat. Okay, look up all the shit. Um, <laughs> Ryan. Yes. Um, you jerk the wheel towards this thing. You expect to feel the impact as you hit it, but you don't feel that. You actually feel a weight on the side of the vehicle. You look in your rearview mirror and you see this thing hanging onto the side of the Hummer. Javi, you reach over Larry, over like his <laughs> like lap, and put this thing against the glass of the window and pull the trigger and and you hit and just blow out the window and hit this thing with the with some rounds from the shotgun. As it as the Hummer swerves into it, you see it go from being on four legs up onto two as its body changes form. Its front legs turn into arms and it shifts into Krinos form. Which is such the bad news. Traditional werewolf, werewolf look. Hey, if we got in stage two of this boss fight, it's and great. When, <laughs> it does that, when it does that, it leaps and puts one claw on the sunroof above Larry to hold on and it's is holding on to the side of the Hummer, which it is comparable in size to. The thing is huge. Awful. Oh, oh, Jesus. Um, Z, in that, you turn, it's right there. You fuck, know, you, fuck, you, fuck. Uh, you let loose a three round burst into it and you know, it's like, I don't know, it's like shooting a bale of hay. Yeah. You know, it has some effect, but you're not really sure. Larry. Larry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> You're using the silver dagger? Mm -hmm. Silver dagger, rouse the blood, mm -hmm. and messy crit. Okay. You, it grabs onto the window above you. It's got kind of, you know, imagine one arm above you on the sunroof, so that armpit is kind of right in the window, and you bury that silver dagger into its armpit. You... Actually, it sounds like a hot blade, you know, cooking steak as it sears into mm -hmm. it. And this thing lets out this guttural roar. And as you pull the knife back, its blood just starts squirting out. And you can't help yourself. Oh, oh no. You just oh, ooh, no. grab it. Mm. How much hunger do you have right now? Three. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you just... Mm -hmm. That open wound from the silver dagger, you just, you grab this thing's arm through the broken glass window and you start feeding. Reduce your hunger by one. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. no big deal. Cool. Uh, but by the way, like cinematically, I'm thinking of this, like this crazy thing going from all fours to Krynos leaping onto the car uh, and, and Z like pumping off a few shots. And then I imagine Larry sitting in the back, <laughs> back of the car putting the window down slowly, like waiting for the window to come down oh, and then the just car. jam it into <laughs> this werewolf. Meanwhile, as the car kind of swerves off the roll, loses a bit of its speed and momentum and that other one comes up on the other side. Feeding a we werewolf probably doesn't the do chase anything. Roll, <laughs> but the other one catches up. So they are now actually both at zero, but... It's a bit gamey. The one on this side took some damage. So, okay, what's everyone doing, Javier? Oh, let's see. You look to your left. You see this giant horse-sized wolf. You look to the right. You swear the Humvee might be on two wheels the way it's lurching to that side, and you see this other monster holding on to the side of the Humvee, trying to pull it to a stop. Uh, can I, Josh? The um, I'm sorry. The the downside to what you have done is that you are now exposed to danger. That expose tag which allows mm -hmm. it to attack you. Okay, But you healed. You got some blood. Uh, I would like to help the driver. Um, can I looking out the front window as we're driving down, can I see if I can spot like a tree or a signpost or something that Ethan can sideswipe to try to like clip this thing off one of these things off the side of the car. <laughs> a little Indiana yeah. Jones the last crusade. Yeah. I, like yeah. I like it. Yeah. That might be I'm, spot and opportunity. I, I, I'm thinking what you're thinking there. Yeah. yeah I was thinking that too. Mm -hmm. I didn't know if that would be. Why don't you do that one? Okay. What's uh, an alertness? Um, meanwhile, John. Alertness is skill. 
Uh, it, he means awareness. Oh, awareness. Uh, okay. Yeah, I don't have that one. John? Uh, I'm going to defend the Ukraine and try to get uh, the large wolf, uh, the um, Krynos wolf off the off the car. So I'm going to take a Two shot successes. At it. Nice. Um, so just, yep, um, John, that's fine. Just keep in mind that is not doing damage. Different than doing damage. I'm going I'm to do damage. To okay. It then, yeah. All right. I'm going to shoot it. Plus one for you. Which Which one? The, the big one. The one on your side. The, okay. Yeah, the Krynos one. Because nobody's engaging the other one right now. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. And and I'm it's just, engaged. <laughs> I am engaged. It's hard, uh, the other hard one for me and, to realize yeah. that you're doing that below me with this thing like kind of crawling on top. Yeah. I don't know. I, I think I'm partly leaning out the window if I'm feeding on oh, this yeah. fucking Oh, yeah. yeah, absolutely. Uh... <laughs> 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 okay, I, I see you have like a dagger in it, and then pull out and kind of lean up and grab onto it. And I see the other one come up to the yeah. on the left side. I think side. you also know that the other side is Quintus. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. uh, he wheels around and takes a couple shots at the one that's running alongside. Okay, I will try to do damage though. Quintus and the driver. You go ahead and make that roll. You know what that is, Qu- um, Quintus? What are you doing? Uh. I am on his phone and I'm looking for the thread as to where they're going to meet and when. Okay. Um, you you find it. I I'm going to text him back and I'm going to say we're under attack now, uh, and give him our like course the okay. th- the path that we're taking to ninety three. You can do something that he will never forgive you for. <laughs> mm-hmm. You can turn on location. Hundred <laughs> percent. I tell them I'm well, sharing my location. That. <laughs> <laughs> he shoots the phone. They go. They go. What? <laughs> they don't. Yeah, they don't believe it's it's, it's a all, trap. Like chaotic. Yeah, they all leave. No, they think it's, it's, yeah. it's a trap. Yeah. Trap. You're a fed. <laughs> Dan, roll wit, wits and technology. Sure. Larry, what are you doing? Um, I th- I think Larry goes. He kind of goes animal here. Kind of like a, an up. An opossum clinging on to something, <laughs> yeah. fighting for its life. <laughs> so he has literally his fangs in this thing, and I think he just he's he's grabbing it, and then he reaches up further with a dagger over where he's biting, and just tries to cut and okay. open it. And okay. he's going to try to do damage and just let the blood flow. Okay, Jake uh, Quintus got five successes with with some technology. Shit. All right, made my rounds check. What did Javier get? Oh my get? lord! Two successes. Two That's successes. Okay. Eight. And what did um what did Z get to shoot the hispo? Is the hispo the wolf form? Uh, four. So I four. do okay uh, at, at distance zero. Yeah, I do s- uh, six damage after armor. Yep. yep. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Hmm. Huh. Are we gonna need the help? <laughs> <laughs> that's that's. Really good to shake that one, basically. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, what did Larry do? <laughs> Larry is got this an, a melee roll? Melee roll. He roused the blood. Uh huh. Okay. Um, this is going to be an opposed roll. Okay. Because he's attacking you as well. So, but but what did you get? Messy critical eight successes. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, you won the roll. Unless mm-hmm. I roll a success. Uh, I mean, that'd be hard to beat. Um, uh, messy though. Yep. <laughs> fucking love it. You can start eating this fucking werewolf. Uh, Larry's getting super into werewolf play right now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Didn't see this happening. Uh, no. yeah. Larry's draining this thing like a 7 Eleven Slurpee machine. New prey exclusion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he doesn't. Uh, he has a prey exclusion. Uh, doesn't feed on animals, but I don't think this counts. It doesn't count. <laughs> Larry's really been into the moon lately. I don't know what's going on with him. <laughs> um, I rolled phenomenal, uh, but I got six successes. <laughs> Which means that you beat it by two, plus the one damage from the from the the blade. It just is a damage value of one, so it's the silver one, right? Mm-hmm. Correct. Yep. Yeah. yep. Is that one? If the this the this silver one, one is like kind of just Small, a smaller knife. Got it, got yeah. It, got it. Mm-hmm. The uh, the other one would be two, yep. the bigger one, but that wouldn't be aggravated to a werewolf. Got it. Got it. Got it. Yeah. The fact that you have a silver knife is is pretty huge. Um, and that you've stabbed him with it twice now. Also, you can remove one more uh, hunger. <laughs> Is he gonna become a were possum? Um, <laughs> so we haven't done much with resonance. I know that actually Javier is under the effects of some resonance right now. This seems like a resonance, but situation. werewolves mm. most certainly have blood resonance. Um, 
And I believe that they count as animal blood, but they also count as, um, so it's the, uh, uh, who's familiar with the original four humors of like Greek medicine. Mm -hmm. Um, but I think caloric is like, um, probably the one that is most fitting. It's caloric, melancholy, phlegmatic, and sanguine. Is it choleric? Choleric. Yeah, you're yeah. right. Um, do you have any celerity or potence? I do not. Okay, then that won't matter. But the animal blood part will. Um, if you have animalism or protein, um, you're going to add two extra dice to any rolls that involve those skills. And that'll happen until you feed again. Okay. And so many more bats. And that did three plus the that weapon damage? Two plus the weapon damage. Yep. So, okay. yeah, it did three aggro. Because well, I beat it by two. Yep. And then mm-hmm. the one weapon yep. damage. Yep. Correct. Um, so you continue to stab this thing and feed off of its blood. And it is in great pain. It's howling, um, and it's trying to swipe at you. Uh, one other good thing about this is that because, I mean, it was basically, this is like a regular combat where it attacked you, you attacked it. So its whole turn was just was to, to attack you, mm-hmm. um, and, and you won the roll. So that's, so that's good. Um, amazing that you won the roll. Yeah. <laughs> but, but I saw way. that roll and I was like, oh my god. <laughs> um, and John, I marked your damage. Um, what what were you doing, Ryan? So so Larry's still kind of, he's like hanging out the window yep. um, eating this guy. Alright, so I'm not going to do what I was originally planning on doing. Uh, I'm going to kind of feign to um, I'm going to feign like I'm going to sideswipe the other one and then I'm going to uh, cut through. So I'm going to I'm going right. to like, I'm going to kind of veer i'm gonna turn right and then sharply go left composure plus drive composure plus drive that's uh, i forgot they're all two so Add, uh yeah uh one two three successes okay um and you had one extra from javier yep. so all right so all right make one more roll for me and then we'll figure it we'll i'll narrate this whole thing make a chase roll so drive and uh dexterity add three extra dice no I'm sorry add two extra dice add one extra success okay yeah two extra dice one success all right the two dice are from Dan the one success is from cutting through the forest one two three four five successes wow all right there it is five five yep okay Larry um roll resolve and composure don't like it um Looking so good. for, mm. I think we're looking for four successes. Got it. Five. Mm-hmm. Okay. Ooh. Um, that's a good roll for Larry. Yeah. Seven dice. Yeah. With the success, I'll give you the option to let go of the werewolf. <laughs> He's holding on to the car. I'll give you the choice of what you want to do <laughs> instead of forcing you. But he, at all of a sudden, you feel. The, you feel E-Crane go off the road. You feel it start to bump. You see a tree coming up right on the side. At first, you think you might hit it, and then you realize that he's going to clip this tree on purpose. E- Ethan is trying to knock this thing off. Okay. And you see the werewolf kind of scramble um, and look like he's going to pounce off of the car and onto the ground. Um, and what do you do? Do you let him go, or do you hold him there? Um, I think he... He... he- keeps himself in control and he pulls back mm-hmm. and um, maybe he, he releases it and just tries to make one as he leaves stab out <laughs> once at him he or slash but he stops feeding yep five successes yep. you knock this thing off the side you're not sure if it hit the tree or if it leapt right before it hit the tree <laughs> but it lets go. And the other one looks pretty torn up from gunshots and starts falling back as well. They're at three and five distance now, pretty far back, but still in pursuit. You cut through some pine trees and back onto the road after it comes to a a curve. And you see these things in the road chasing you still. It looks like they've both gone into that hispo form. The one that was on the side must have transformed as it was running through the brush. So you see these two huge wolves on the road behind you. What are you guys doing? Um, what how, do, did I get a response from them, Jake? Um, they said on their way. Basically, uh, like I, I had you do. I counted it as a helping yep. helping Ryan roll, but by essentially reducing like the duration. Yep. You know, they're on their way. Quintus says, "These friends are. They are almost here." 
We knocked those back pretty far. Um, j- just keep full speed. Imagine you ducking into the car to have to say that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, what are you doing, John? Um, I'm going to take, like, because they're a little far away now. Um, I'm going to shoot at them, um, but mostly to try to, especially the one that was banged up, I got pretty good from that um, from that angle. Um, try to make it so that they are thinking twice, making different plans of how they're, like, they have to weave into the forest and out. Okay. You're trying to slow them down? Yeah. All right. Dan? Uh, I think that Quintus is just, now that they're not necessarily on us, but uh, I think he's just trying to, one w- window is missing, correct? Mm-hmm. And how's the rest of the vehicle? In pretty good shape. Um, there's some definitely some claw marks on the right side. Uh, okay. The paint's all scratched up from going through the woods. No real damage to the left side, to your side. All right. Um, I kind of assure Ethan that we're we're in the clear. He just needs to to, you know, step on it. Okay. Uh, Larry's gonna try to help the driver. All right. They're back in their wolf form, and I think he, um, the the resonance doesn't apply mechanically because that's for animalism. But I think he he's feeling very animalistic, and he's looking at them, and he's gonna read the terrain like an animal okay. and try to give him some driving. Okay. Like they're gonna. You know, try to cut this way or that way or whatever. What are you going to try to roll? I was thinking animal, Ken, and intelligence? Um, why don't you do animal, Ken, and, and wits? Wit, uh, and wits? Okay. Yeah. Javier? Uh, I guess I will just try to spot an opportunity for... Go ahead. Ethan to get a better shot, I guess. I mean, uh, for Z to get a better shot on these things tailing us. Z, what did you get for your roll? Oh, sorry. What did you want? Just normal firearms decks? Um, how about composure and firearms? Okay. I always like that one. Uh, I had uh, one success, but I also rolled a oh. one on the hunger die. Oh. Uh, one success for, uh, for Z. Uh, two for Larry, which I think will not help his roll. Okay. What did you get, John? Sorry. One. One Ooh. success. Okay. And... Okay. Ryan, what are you doing? I'm just driving, man. You're you're just focusing? Just, and driving? just gonna focus on the road. All right. Um Luckily these things are still pretty hurt, even though they do heal. So they're at some Ooh, good that's good because I only got one success. And <laughs> I rolled a one on the hunger die. Ruh row. Yeah. First one got no successes. It didn't have a lot of dice because it's taken a bunch of silver damage. And the second one had no successes. Wow. How that? many did you get? Uh, I got one with a one on the hunger die. Um, Ventrues. My Ventrues. Why don't you both give me composure and resolve rolls? Difficulty is whatever cool. your current hunger is. Mm-hmm. I passed. I, I passed. got two. Yeah. You passed? Ethan, you look in the rearview mirror. You see these wounded animals. Very wounded, very vulnerable. You turn that mirror slightly and you see Javier. You you both lock eyes. You think for a moment you could just stop. You could just finish them. Javier, you think about the renown, the clout you would have (laughs) if you came back to Boston having slain two werewolves and your blood boils. You think about it for just a moment about telling Ethan to stop. But you don't. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you, (laughs) Anya. Because you both made as many successes as your hunger, correct? I had four over three. Yeah, two over one. Two over one. All right. You don't frenzy. (laughs) (laughs) Oh my lord. Yikes. Um... Because you guys both had messies, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But you pull away. These things are hurt badly, and they've lost the will to fight. They slow down. And up ahead, in the middle of the road, you see several campers, a few vans, <laughs> about a dozen motorcycles. and Yep, these are definitely these people. Probably about 15 men and women 
Some of them look like burly bikers. Some of them look like punks straight out of the 90s. Gang members. A few woodsmen-looking people. All armed with weapons. And in front of them, you see a woman with a silver baseball bat over her shoulder. (laughs) Sick. And you drive up to them. And that is where we will stop. Awesome. Awesome. Nice. Gotta have some explaining to do. Do you know how... Just think about how... Thank you for listening to the Boston Masquerade on the Nastagram RPG podcast. Now we'd love to hear more from you. Find and follow us online. We are at Nastagram RPG on Instagram and Twitter, Facebook.com slash Nastagram, or the Nastagram RPG Lounge for our community on Facebook, r slash Nastagram on Reddit, and at Nastagram2053 on YouTube. Or just go to the website, NastagramRPG.com, and you can link out to all those sites there. If you don't mess around with any of that social media bullshit, good on you. We'd still love to hear from you. Email us at nastygrampod at gmail.com. And finally, no matter what, we would beg, implore, and plead you to rate and review us, preferably at Apple Podcasts or whatever it is they call iTunes these days. And also just talk about us. Talk about us with your friends, anybody that you think would appreciate tabletop RPGs, or just telling good stories. Thanks again, and we will see you next Tuesday. That's nasty. Devin, put on that intro whenever you're ready. Drop that funky beat. <laughs> Good ads. <laughs> Dead air. Dead, Dead air. air. What do you guys like to snack on when you play vampire? <laughs> Humans.